I've got to say, I took a listen to the album today and I absolutely fell in love with it. So I was wondering if you could start off by telling us a little bit about what you guys actually set out to do with this album when you first started writing it. Well, that, that's kind of hard to say. I mean, we, we just basically continued. I think I mentioned it before, you know, it's, it's sort of a band that never stops writing. You know, we never li- really leave the studio and we keep on having sessions you know um whether it being a long weekend or two weeks or 10 days and uh, so i think we've taken away sort of the drama around like approaching a new album by just keep on going yeah so we don't really you know feel the like uh, you know we don't do the typical sort of album cycle where we do the album and then all the touring and then we have a break for half a year and and then start you know starting approaching a new album uh, so and, and plus we don't really book like six weeks in the studio to finish the whole album at once so i think um, i think that's been a very good recipe for us and that's something that we continue to do um and um i don't know it's it, um, the album i mean each and every album is a little bit different than than the other one i think we we've developed our sound even more and i think it sounds more and more personal even though it's pretty clear where our influences come from you know but i think we've we've created uh, something really focused with this album and and really interesting and i think it's extremely diverse but it's all s- somewhat connected together you know when you go through the album so yeah uh, you mentioned that you're constantly writing does that mean that you guys are like constantly sending stuff to each other and saying well look i came up with this idea for these lyrics have a look at them yeah. is that how it works yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're, we're building up quite a, like, you know, like a vault of songs that we, you know, it just keeps growing and growing. And I mean, we, we could have released a double album for this one, but we didn't want to push our look, uh, luck too much, you know, and, and, and we, we found like an album that had a very good flow. And, uh, you know, that's what it's all about in the end, you know, and um, there, there might be some songs that, you know, that didn't show up in this album that might come up in the next and that that's what i sort of mean when we build a vault you know we might you know pick them up again and dust them off and and rearrange and so it's it's a it's a very you know creative unit so i think it's it's like an ongoing thing you know yeah when you have so many songs there ready to go in that vault how do you pick the ones that actually make it onto the album because isn't that kind of like picking your favorite children (laughs) <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I, it's extremely hard, you know. And and we're eight people in the band, you know. And it's, <laughs> um, yeah, it, it, it is very hard. And uh, we, but we really try to, I don't know, go go for the vibe and 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 sort of create this this sort of flow on an album. And it, and it comes very much like a jigsaw puzzle, you know. In in, in the end, and, and without sounding too pretentious, but it's like that's what it's all about in the end i mean but then again we also release singles you know that i mean we also roll with the times sort of you know the, the album as we knew it is pretty much dead you know uh it's somehow only about singles and eps nowadays you know and streaming services but so i mean we we also release singles because you know it's it, it also tends to get boring when you also only focus on releasing an album and then you do your touring cycle and blah 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 and then it's over and you or you start all over again so we also try to break sort of patterns there and, and you know we released satellite as a single before that you know last year and also a little bit of a short film with cabin pressure drops um which was highly unexpected i guess and made people confused because they thought it was the first single of the new album because uh, it was really so so close to the album but it, it was completely separate unit so i think that's something that we will keep on doing but in the end you know the album is also extremely important to us that it's going to have the right flow and on this album we, we feel maybe the songs are even more connected even though it's it's maybe more diverse yeah. than ever at the same time you mentioned before that you guys get together on long weekends and and play and times yeah. like that to record. How difficult is it for you guys to find time to record when you're all so busy with your other projects and your other bands as well? I mean, we we've, we've been trying now to sort of separate uh, the, the touring cycles and, and and also album cycles because it's. Um, I mean, we can't. Nobody's going to get be happy if we do everything at the same time. Uh, basically, you know, and, and both me and David are in soil work as well. And I mean, the Night Flight Orchestra has been growing so much the latest years, and and 
you know, we've had discussions with other guys in, in solo work, and, and they also recognize that the band is growing. So, and I think it's important for me and David to be able to do two things, but not at the same time. So for this year, I mean, it's going to be pretty much only about, you know, Nightlight Orchestra. So there's yeah. going to be like some solo work singles and some shows here and there, but no like full tours. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to divide the album cycles and touring cycles. So uh, instead of, I mean, like last summer, we did three festivals with both bands, uh, same day, same stage, with one hour in between. That was that was really weird. And, and I mean, it worked out fine, but I think we want, want to try to avoid that for the future. Yeah, I was going to say, that must have been really strange because it must have almost yeah. felt a little bit schizophrenic because the two bands are so yeah. different. Yeah. So. That was very interesting, and I mean, I was also a little bit worried about my voice, but I, I felt that I sang better than ever with soil work, and it was like I had night flight as a warm up somehow. You know, it was it was really interesting how that worked out. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I would lie if I didn't think it was a little bit weird. You know, you, I get into my night flight suits and, and and my beret and James Brown sunglasses, and then you know do the show and then have a one hour off and then uh, put my soul work vest on and and you know go full-on extreme metal you know it's yeah. it's uh, it's interesting the one thing i noticed with the album today was that it's just one of those albums that just puts you in a good mood i was in a bit of a crappy mood when i started to listen to it and it put me in a great mood for the afternoon um oh, how, fantastic are you excited about being able to take that vibe out live this summer because this tra- this album it has that good mood about it but it also sounds like an album that needs to be heard live yeah yeah, I mean, I, we've already been rehearsing the new songs and because we're embarking on a European tour starting in London next Friday. And, and we could really feel that, like, just about every song that we play from the new album is going to work out good life, you know. And Because, uh, I mean, that does happen sometimes when, when you, you know, record an album. It's like, oh, my God, these that song is going to be amazing live. And then you start rehearsing it. And it's not the same thing. It doesn't really click the same way as on the album. But, you know... All that the song, all the songs that we've been going through, just sounds incredible. So we we cannot wait to bring them, you know, doing those tracks live. So yeah, I have to ask a really selfish question: Is there any chance that you guys might come to Australia at some time with this tour cycle as well? I mean, that's definitely something that we're pushing for. Everybody in the band even said it at the rehearsals: like, we need to go to Australia. Like, we just need to. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we're definitely pushing for that. There's no solid plans yet, but I'm, you know, um, yeah, the people should spread the word and, you know, pick up the album and, and, and you know, play it in radio, request it in radio. And, um, yeah, who knows? You know, I, I think our fan base has grown quite a bit in, in Australia, so uh, it could happen. Yeah, so. definitely. Bjorn, you mentioned yeah. before that this album, you feel, is an album that really defines your sound. How hard have you worked at that, and how have you guys gone about working out that that true sound for the band? I don't think we're trying that hard. I mean, because the thing with this band is, is you know, there's no boundaries really musically, and and you always end up in a situation where it's like, can we do this? It's like, yes, we can, <laughs> you know. And so that's the beauty of this band, and I think that's what people also feel very liberated in their musical expression, you know. So. Um, I mean, there's maybe some some elements that we're maybe discussing a little bit, but it's I think it's all about like creating rock that is extremely cinematic, you know, yeah. and, and creates a lot of pictures, you know, and I think that's that's what a lot of people say as well, you know, and, and they can really relate to it somehow, and then it take, takes them away. There's a lot of escapism running through it, both lyrically and musically, but I don't know. It's 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 really a nice daily soundtrack that seems to be lifting people's you know lifting people up a little bit so that's that's amazing the the music is very cinematic but it's also the music that kind of captures the the great music of the past as well i was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about what music you grew up listening to and what kind of music do you listen to today well um i mean i was born in 78 and and uh, that's pretty much my favorite musical year which is kind of interesting uh, but i mean growing up my mom was playing a lot of stuff in, in, in the car i loved like sitting in the car and listening to music you know being in motion with my dad with my mom and my dad going somewhere you know and uh, they played a lot of uh, 
a lot of The Who, Who's Next album. They also played a lot of Bruce Springsteen. But then my mom really got into Eurythmics as well, you know, and uh, what else was there? I mean, Alan Parsons Project, stuff like that. So it was... Uh, um, it was pretty, pretty diverse, you know, and then I also discovered the sort of, you know, Wasp and Iron Maiden uh, on my own, pretty much, and, and, and um, during the 80s, I, w I was, I, I just loved music, you know, and, and melodies, and there was so many great melodies uh, coming out in the 80s, and, and, you know, when we look back, you feel that the productions are pretty cheesy, but I mean, the, the melodies are extremely timeless, I would say, so that's some... <laughs> Some of the stuff that I was growing up, I mean, it's really hard to, to sort of get an overview of, of exactly what I listened to. But th those are some of the artists and and, and uh, bands. Also a lot of Tina Turner in my mom's car. So, uh, yeah, yeah, it's all over the place. <laughs> yeah, obviously a great music lover. Have you got a huge music collection? And have you kind of kept, like, the vinyl and the CDs? Or have you gone all digital these days? Yeah, I mean, I kept I kept some for sure. I mean, all, all the vinyls that I had as a kid, I, I kept. And uh, I still have my compilation tapes as well in a big, big IKEA box. So they're not going anywhere. I, I just can't throw them away. You know, it's um, so, yes, um, I am pretty nostalgic, I would say. Yeah. Well, Bjorn, I know we are running out of time. So is there anything you would like to say to your Australian fans out there before they go out and grab a copy of this great new album? Well, you're in for a treat. This album is definitely going to take you on a journey, and uh, make sure you spread it with your friends. And, and you know, thanks for thanks for all the support. And uh, we'll work hard at coming over to Australia and do a tour. Definitely. <laughs> well, mate, thank you so much again for talking to us tonight. As usual, it's been an absolute pleasure. Mm, likewise. Thank <laughs> you so much. All right, mate. You have a great day, and we'll talk again in the future. All right. All right. Okay, take care. See ya. Bye. Okay, cheers. Bye bye.